Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Mary Margaret. This is Noah and today we are doing kind of a few days in my life but more of a fall theme. So I'm just going to be taking you guys along. We'll see what we get up to and I hope you keep watching. As you would have just saw, we just went to Sunrise and I had to snap a few pictures. So maybe I'll put a few on the screen of how they turned out, but definitely make sure to follow me on Instagram so you stay up to date with that. That is definitely where I'm the most active, but I also post here. I post on TikTok and on Pinterest as well. And my username is the same across all of my platforms. It's at Mary Margaret Food. It'll be right there. Now we are heading to coffee. I kind of want to shoot a picture there as well. So I'll try and remember to film and show you guys what it looks like. It's kind of a newer coffee spot here in 38 it's called turbo coffee it's right by the free people if you're familiar with that area so that is where we're gonna head right now i think it is 6 50 they open at 7 so we'll head that way and probably be one of the first people in there Did an iced latte and then I'm waiting on my smoothie. This looks so good. We went to Turbo Coffee and I did Turbo. a mango. What? Turbo Coffee. Turbo. I did a mango smoothie. Noah did an iced latte and then we just ran in a local donut shop and I picked up four donuts, you guys. It was $11. Just 38 things. Without tips. So it ended up being like 12 or 13, which is insane. Anywhere else in America, it'd be probably $2. Yeah, like $3. So. Insane. Time to enjoy. Hello, you guys. It is now technically like I think a week later from when I filmed those first few clips. This week has just been hectic and we have so many things going on, all very good and exciting things that I'm so excited to share. I don't know when I'm going to officially talk about it, but just know that something fun is coming very soon and I'll obviously be taking you guys along for it all. It just, we need a little bit longer until I can fill you all in. So I wanted to pick up my camera and vlog today because when we woke up, it was in the 50s. I think it was like either 56 or 57 degrees, which is pretty chilly for here. We slept with our windows open and it was so nice just waking up to like fresh cold air. So that is why I'm in like a full winter outfit right now. I'm wearing my Converse. These are actually overalls that I got in my Rent the Runway order. And then I have all my Great Bandit sweater and this cute little New York hat that I got from Amazon. Um, but yeah, we just New got York in line. Hat. That's the Yankees, Yankees hat. Oh but like, don't God. they play for New York? Yeah, but yeah, New York Yankees. The New York hat. It literally is NY, New mm. York. Okay, whatever. Roaster. I just wanted to pick up my camera and film. So we just got in the car and we're in line at Starbucks right now. We're gonna get a full drink and test them out. My favorite is the pumpkin spice latte. I do it iced. I get extra cinnamon and extra pumpkin cream cold foam. I don't know if Noah's going to get something because he's already had two cups of coffee today. Um, but that is all we're doing right now. I actually might get it hot. I've never tried it hot. I always do iced. But we're going to take pictures after this and I kind of want a hot coffee cup. So maybe we'll try that out today and let you guys know what I think. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. I'll be with you in one moment. Can I do a medium uh, strawberry acai refresher with lemonade, please? Yeah, of course. What else for you? Starbucks cup, like the white oh, cup. Oh yeah, just like a cup? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Sweet, thank you. All right, it'll be 615. Perfect. I want to shoot with a hot cup, but I wanted an iced drink, so we just ordered a cup. Also, the total was 615. That's my lucky numbers. And then, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, appreciate it. You too. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Guys, he goes feral for these. Oh my Fair gosh. <laughs> Back on the road, I ended up just getting the strawberry sour refresher because that's what I really wanted. How about that? And then, we also have our empty to-go cup. I'm honestly probably gonna keep this. I used to have a pink one from a different coffee shop and I just kept it in our pantry and I would like whip it out whenever I wanted a prop. 
and the lid cracked so I ended up just throwing it away and I've been needing a new one. So we're gonna keep this and use it as a prop whenever I need something. It's just a lot easier to take pictures when you have something to do with your hands, something to hold, and this does the trick. So we're actually going to shoot at Whole Foods I know that's so random, but they have a little pumpkin stand out front, and I just wanted to shoot this particular outfit there. Um, I'm still gonna try and go to a pumpkin patch one day this week with a few of the girls, but I wanted to shoot another like little fall vibey picture as well. We are at Whole Foods, and I just shot some pictures right there by the little mini pumpkin stand. I'll have them on the screen right here, but I also kind of want to go and shoot along like the hedge right there, so we might try that. What do you have. God, it's a piece of pizza each. What? No way, that looks so good. Cheers. <laughs> mm. That's good. I just finished shooting a second look down in Rosemary. I attempted to shoot in the library store here. Um, I forgot what it's called. I think it's like Secret Lantern Bookstore or something, but it was my first time going in. I've shot at the one in Seaside before, but I shot there last year and so I wanted it to switch it up. It is fall break here right now and you guys, it is packed. I just felt so funny because I was shooting a fuzzy sweater, Uggs, jeans, and this fuzzy bucket hat and then everyone's walking around me in like bikinis and jean shorts so I was so out of place and the store was so hot so we tried to be as fast as we could but I think we got the shot I'll put one of them here if you guys want to see I don't know if I'm gonna end up posting them or not but the plan for the rest of the afternoon it's like 3 40 right now and we need to go head back to Noah's parents get paddle boards and I think I'm gonna meet a few of the girls for a paddle board session tonight out on the beach so that is our plans for the rest of the day and I'll check back in with you guys when we're headed there feels so good the water is a little bit chilly but it's like warmer than the air so it's not bad but I know we're not gonna have many more sunset swims Princess Polly order in the mail and I thought it would be fun to open it up. I'm working with them this month on Instagram and TikTok, but I figured it could be fun to show you guys on here as well. This is the first one. It's just like a cute little tan, light brown cropped sweater. I love the balloon sleeves and this like big oversized v-neck. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is a scarf. Ow. Oh my God, that just shocked me. This is like a royal blue. I feel like there's a, another word for this color, but it is just like so vibrant, so fun. And I'm pretty sure I picked out a blue sweater that I wanted to wear this with to have like kind of a monochromatic outfit going on. Here's the vision. This is the sweater. It's a little bit lighter of a blue. Again, fun balloon sleeves. This one's more of like a full length fit. Clearly I have a thing for blue right now because I also picked out these fun striped boxers. This is a super cute brown oversized purse. It's kind of giving like dupe for the free people one, but I just thought this was so cute and I'll use it all fall and winter long. And it's so big, I can fit so much in here. I also got a pair of jeans and I'm hoping these fit. I never know how 
um, jeans are going to run. I feel like every brand is so different, but typically on Princess Polly, I'm a US 4. Sometimes a US 2, I always make sure to check the description and see like what size the model is wearing. That's kind of like how I make the best judgment, but these are such a good like medium wash. They're wide leg and I feel like these are gonna be really easy to style. Their sweaters are the best. I feel like I have a lot of them from last year and the year before because the quality is really good. The price isn't too expensive and they last a long time. So I know I will have this for years to come. Has kind of like a mock neck turtleneck, but this is just so thick and heavy. It's a cute little plaid flannel. I will say this one's on the more thin side. So I feel like this works for like Florida and other Southern states where it's not freezing yet. This is like a good lightweight option so that you get the look of fall without like sweating when you walk outside. By the way, this is not sponsored at all. I just genuinely love Princess Polly. I feel like I have so many pieces in my closet from them. Even before I started doing influencing, I would always shop from them, but I do have a discount code. Again, this is not sponsored. I'm not required to post this, but I'll have it here on the screen if you guys wanna go and shop. Oh my gosh. This might be one of my favorite things from the whole haul, but they are army green linen pants. Love the stretchy waistband. These look like the Amazon ones that I just got in my Amazon haul. If you haven't watched that, make sure to go check it out. I'll link it up here on one of the corners and don't have anything in this color so this is going to be really fun that was everything that i got make sure to follow me on instagram or tiktok by the time i post this it might already be live or i'll be posting in a few days but i will have a try on video going up of everything that i just showed y'all we just wrapped up with a little shoot and i'm about to change into a workout set because me and Noah are actually going for a run it's about 5 30 p.m right now and the weather just feels so good so that is what we're about to go do. I think I mentioned this on my Instagram story, but if you don't follow me over on there, one of my goals for this month is to run at least once a week. Neither of us are runners, but we've probably done, I think either four or five runs now and you feel so good after and I literally crave it during the day. So that's what we're going to do. We don't do anything crazy. It's usually like a mile and a half or two miles max. So we'll see what we end up doing today and I'll try and vlog a little bit, but like it's so hard to film when you're running and there's really not that much to film, but I'll update you guys once we're back. guys can hear me but we just finished up our run we did about two miles which I feel like is our standard now we started at like 1.2 1.4 and now we've done two miles for the past few times so we're getting up there another one of my goals for this month was to hit three miles so hopefully we hit that by the end of this month and now we're headed back we're gonna cook some dinner I think Noah's gonna grill chicken we'll do corn and he made some guacamole earlier so that is the plan Good morning, you guys. I am about to head out to hot yoga and I wanted to show you my set that I'm wearing. It's my first time wearing this and I'm obsessed. It's so cute. It's from L Space. I will link it down below. Pretty sure I did a size small top and bottom. I love this little like cinching detail. That's my favorite on active wear. And I love that the biker shorts are a good length. They're not too short, but they're also not like awkwardly long. This is perfect. It's like 65 degrees. So I think I'm going to grab a jacket because I'm definitely going to be cold and then we will be on our way. You guys know the drill with hot yoga. I show it all the time in my vlogs, So I will film a little bit for you guys, but that's where we're headed right now. I 
think for the rest of the day, we're gonna do a little bit of work, hang out at the house and just knock some stuff out. If it stays sunny, I want to go to a pumpkin patch later. Um, I thought today was going to be cloudy, but the sun is out, I see blue skies. So I'm gonna try and wrap up a little bit of work and then possibly head to a pumpkin patch. We had a change of plans because I had to go and get my tires changed. So we are on the totally opposite side of uh, Florida. We're in, Miami right now. <laughs> We're in a totally different area than where I was hoping to go for the pumpkin patch. So I'll have to save that for another video um, because now we're just running errands for the day and waiting for my tires to be done. So. We just went into crumble cookies and we're gonna do a live taste test. Which one do you wanna try first? Oh, it's warm. How is it? Pretty good. Probably the most normal. Mmm. It more has the consistency of a muffin or a cupcake rather than a cookie, but it's still really good. I think that one's gonna be my favorite. I don't like red velvet, so that one's all you. Maybe I'll give it a try. I've literally never had red velvet. At the edge, yeah. I think this is a chocolate cake. With red And dye. they just dyed it red. I would say the pumpkin chocolate chip is my favorite. Red velvet is second, regular milk chocolate chip third, and then I didn't even try the strawberry one, so. I think I'm gonna end this vlog off here. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.